If you look at the global map in the middle, you will see that the darker colored area involves the Asian, uh, ASEAN countries. It's an indication that in the world distribution, the ASEAN countries have a high frequency, a high uh, prevalence, if you like, of alpha thalassemia genes. In most of the countries, we have at least one or more academic centers, clinical centers, but do we have enough networking? Are these clinical and academic centers of expertise supporting the periphery and lesser centers so that equity in terms of service uh, can reach our patients? Above all, we need a prevention strategy to control the number of new affected births. Prevention is a complex issue. We need to start by educating our public. We need to raise awareness. We need screening. We have to consider the accuracy of, screen, uh, of screening for large populations, high throughput screening, especially high throughput sequencing is available. Is prevention successful? Cyprus and Sardinia have put some results up show how indeed prevention programs starting in the 1970s have actually reduced the number of actual births. Is this possible in Asian ASEAN countries? Singapore seems to have followed the same pattern. So it is a possibility.